1번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. David, I found coins in your pants again. Sorry, Mom. I forgot to empty all the pockets before doing the laundry. I told you, coins can cause serious damage to the washing machine. 2번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, this isn't the food that I ordered. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. The steak and salad aren't yours. Could you tell me what you ordered once again? Sure. I ordered a combination pizza and a chicken combo. 3번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. There's only one round left, coach. I really want to win this boxing championship. You can do it, Emily. Now it's time to show what you've sweated for. But I'm getting nervous. Do you think I can do it? 4번. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, students. Last class, we talked about the history of drone technology. Today, let's look at some cases in which drones can be used to help people. First, in the case of delivery, drones can transport foods, packages, or goods to places that cars or other vehicles cannot reach. Second, in the case of disaster or emergency, drones can be sent to search for people. They can look for people lost on a mountain or caught in the snow. Third, photographers can use drones to get a bird's eye view of buildings or a city. We'll talk more about it after watching a video clip. 5번. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, residents of Maxville Apartment. This message is from the maintenance office. We're expecting a heavy storm with extremely strong winds and rain tonight, lasting until early tomorrow morning. If windows are left open during the heavy storm, it may cause severe damage to your property. as well as break your window glass. So, we'd like to ask you to make sure to lock all windows in your house. Your cooperation will help in preventing damage and assuring your safety. Thank you. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자의 주장으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Michael, I'm having so much trouble understanding what people are saying these days. What do you mean by that, Jenny? People nowadays seem to use too many shortened forms of words or phrases. You mean words like TMI for too much information? Right. I think those shortened forms are having a negative impact on communication. Really? I thought using them was fun. Well, it's not for everyone. Some people feel uncomfortable catching up on those shortened forms. Hmm. I've never really thought about it. You should. They can cause misunderstanding between generations, too. I agree with you about that. So I think we should avoid using too many shortened forms. I see your point. 
7번 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey Ben, why were you walking backwards during lunch break? I heard from a TV show that it's good for us. Good for us? How? On the TV show, there was an experiment that showed people who walk backwards are better able to remember things. That sounds interesting. Do you think it actually works? Sure. I definitely feel like my memory has improved after walking that way. Wow. It's hard to believe. I know. But I seem to have more vivid memories after doing that. Great. I want to try it now. Why not? I'm sure it'll help boost your memory. 8번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hi, Ms. White. It's been a long time. Hello, Mr. Green. Thank you for coming. Sure. Who's having a problem today? It's our zoo's most famous monkey, Coco. He doesn't seem so well. I see. Can you tell me about his symptoms? He seems to have a fever. When I fed him this morning, he barely ate a thing. All right. I'll start by checking his body. I hope it's not something serious. Let me see. He has a sore throat. Now I see why he didn't eat much. I'm going to give him a shot and some medicine. He'll be much better when you feed him next time. Thank you. I'll take good care of him. 9번. 다음 그림의 상황에 가장 적절한 대화를 고르시오. Number 1. Oh, why are you sweating so much? I just finished running for an hour. Number two. Cover your mouth with your sleeve when coughing. I'm sorry. I'll keep that in mind. Number three. Don't be scared. It's my Halloween mask. It looks real. Where did you get it? Number four. Do you have a t-shirt with longer sleeves? Sure. I'll bring you one right away. Number five. Do you know where I can get some hot water? No idea. You can ask at the cafeteria over there. 10번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자에게 부탁한 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kate, congratulations. I heard you made it to the final interview. Thank you, Dad. I'm nervous about it, though. How's your preparation going? I'm searching for last year's interview questions. Good. I think checking the current issues would be also helpful. I've been checking them, but I'm worried about the new interview style. How has it changed? Now it's a group interview instead of one-on-one. -on -one. It must be hard for you to prepare for the interview alone. Right. Could you practice for the group interview with me? Sure. I'm always ready to help my daughter. Thank you, Dad. It'll help a lot. 11번 대화를 듣고 남자가 환불을 받으려는 이유로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Spring Hill Shopping, how may I help you? I'd like to request a refund on an order I made. Can you tell me your name, please? My name is John Spencer. Hold on a second. Did you buy an electric shaver? Yes, I did. I found it was delivered three days later than it was supposed to be. Is that the reason why you want to get a refund? No, that wasn't a big deal. And the product was delivered safe and undamaged. Can you tell me why you want a refund then? 
I got the same item as a gift from my colleague. I get it. We'll refund your money and send someone to pick up the product from your place. Okay. Thanks. Good morning. Do you need any help? Yes, please. I'd like to get a yoga mat. We have two kinds. The thicker one is $24 and the thinner one is $20. Which one would you recommend for working out at home? I'd recommend the thicker one. It can absorb the noise from your movement. Oh, it would be great if I can make less noise. I'll take the thicker one. Okay. Is there anything else you need? Do you have stretch bands? I need one of them. Yes. They're $6 each, but bands are half price if you buy a yoga mat. Sounds great. I'll get one. All right. Do you need a bag for these? No. Here's my credit card. 13번. 대화를 듣고 Love Your Pet 캠페인에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hi, Minji. The bracelet you're wearing looks nice. Thanks. I got it for joining the Love Your Pet campaign. There's something written on your bracelet. No one wants to be abandoned. Is that their slogan? Yes, it is. The purpose of the campaign is to help abandoned animals get proper treatment. Sounds meaningful. How can I join the campaign? If you visit their website, you can choose the bracelet you like and donate a certain amount of money. That's simple. Do you know where the donations go? The money is mainly spent on maintaining shelter facilities. I see. Thank you for the information. 14번 Snow Sculpture Festival에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. I'm James Hamington with the World Travel Channel. I'd like to tell you about Snow Sculpture Festival. It is held in the northern area of China. This festival begins January 5th and lasts for a month. The opening ceremony starts at 8 at night. You can enjoy beautiful ice lantern exhibitions in the ceremony. During the festival, you can participate in activities such as skiing and swimming in the river's freezing water. You can also receive a key ring as a souvenir. Enjoy your winter holidays at this fabulous festival. 15번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 신청한 수업을 고르시오. Tim, what are you looking at on your smartphone? I'm thinking of signing up for a French class. Could you help me? Sure. I took one last year so I can help you. Let's choose the day first. Hmm. I can't go to weekend classes because of my part-time job. I'll take a weekday class. All right. How about the level? Have you taken a French class before? No, I haven't. I'll take the beginner level. As a beginner, I think you should study for longer than three months. I think so, too. Okay. Now you've got two options left. A smaller class can give you more chances to speak. I'll take the class with fewer students, then. Enjoy your French class. 16번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Mr. Moore. Can I ask your advice? Sure, Amy. What can I help you with? 
Well, I can't decide which club I should join. Oh, what clubs are you interested in? I'd love to join the school band, but when I think about my major, I feel I should join the economy club. So it's hard to choose between what you want and what you think you should do. Right, but I really want to play in the school band. Then why don't you follow your heart? Yeah. I'd much rather be in the band than the economy club. Then do it. People have fewer regrets when they do what they really want to do. Seventeen. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Ms. Smith. Can I talk to you for a moment? Sure, Mike. What is it? I was absent from your class last week. I know. I heard you had a bad cold. Are you okay now? I'm good now, thanks. But since I was absent, I couldn't choose a presentation date. Well, you can choose now. Let's see. Only this Friday and next Wednesday are left. I'm really sorry, but those days don't work for me. What's the matter? I have to write a research paper by next Wednesday. Can you give me a different option? If you can find someone who would switch with you, that's okay. 18번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 프랭크가 제인에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Frank and Jane are classmates. While they're studying for their midterm exams, Frank tells Jane that he's having a hard time concentrating when he studies. Based on her experience, Jane suggests that Frank listen to white noise, such as falling rain or a running river. Frank thinks that those kinds of sounds will help him with his concentration. He decides to give it a try. So, Frank wants Jane to recommend the best website to listen to the sounds. In this situation, what would Frank most likely say to Jane? 19번과 20번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, listeners. Welcome back to Smart Living Tips. Today, I'd like to talk about a smart home system you can control with your voice. Here are some examples. First, you can control the lights. You can adjust the brightness and turn them on or off just by saying so. Second, You don't have to look for a remote control to operate the heater. All you have to do is say, turn on the heater. Next, you can operate the dishwasher in your kitchen with your voice while you sit in the living room. Finally, controlling home security cameras is simple. You only need to say a few words like, show me the living room. It's fascinating, isn't it? Life gets better every day. I'll come back with more ideas tomorrow. 19번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오.